Well, this is a Buddy L toy truck, which I received for Christmas in uh, 1929. It's a great surprise. I had seen them in uh, construction in my father's factory, and uh, of course, I was begging him to let me get one, and I really wasn't encouraged. He was installing the motors and um, drive system and control works in the trucks that were shipped to him by Buddy L. He had already been known nationally as a manufacturer of small electric motors, so Buddy L found their way to him and uh, wanted to put a motor in the truck. Uh, it, of course, uh, was a question of how it was going to be controlled, and they tossed to him the task of figuring that out. I remember him telling me that he did not invent anything, but went back to an old concept of the so-called intermittent wheel, which could be uh, controlled with an intermittent wheel which could uh, be actuated somehow to shift the drive from the motor uh, first to the steering and then to forward drive and then to rearward drive and actuating the dump uh, box on the truck. He was Albert E. Doman and the company was uh, then called Dinito Electric Company, and it had, he was a pioneer in putting electric um, starters and generators on cars, actually accomplished it at the same time that Kettering did, so by 1929 he had many years in the manufacture. electrical equipment, mostly for cars. And I think that this motor in the truck is the same one that he was selling to Keystone Company that was selling small, uh, low-cost uh, movie projectors, hand-cranked, before they put his motors on. So here we have the cab removed so you can see the mechanical works. This uh, unit over here is the motor, which my dad was building in quantity for all sorts of other things. Um, the one that I remember is the movie, small movie projectors. Uh, this control and drive mechanism on this side is uh, what he created in order to enable the truck not to be just powered but also uh, controlled which and it's notable that it was all done mechanically rather than electrically or electronically the only, th only thing electric about the control is this doorbell type clapper which is actuated by the control key and it simply uh, pulls a, a pawl out of that has been preventing rotation of the so-called intermittent wheel so hitting the control key uh, allows the uh, pulls the pawl out and allows the intermittent wheel to turn to the next slot. Um, 
That would, for example, take you from driving the steering gear to driving the truck forward. And then another tap of the control would stop it and put it in idle. And then another tap would uh, put it in reverse. And, uh, and finally, the last tap would actuate the, the dump box. So we're now in idle, and one tap on the control ought to take us to uh, forward, I think. And it will... Oh no, it's steering. We have uh, uh, regular hardware of the, from those days in the form of uh, a toaster plug and a doorbell clapper and a motor built for uh, uh, low-priced uh, movie projectors, all put together in, uh, by an Albert Doman design. He, he uh, denying that it was invention. In those days, a chain drive of the rear wheels was a feature of the famous Mack truck. This nameplate says it's a Buddy L Robo Toy Transformer. Made for Buddy L of uh, Minneapolis Moline by Jefferson Electric. In Bellwood, Illinois.